Hello everybody, happy Monday. Welcome back to more learning. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I hope you got to see um, some sunshine and play outside and had a good time. Um, and I hope you're ready for another week, okay? Let's figure out our date together. So we're gonna need to count up to this day right here, okay? I just said it's Monday, which is the first day of the school week, Monday. But we need to figure out what number it's going to be today. So let's start at one and we'll count up to this day. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very good, today is the seventh. Today is Monday, it is the seventh. And does anyone remember what month it is? It's still our new month, it starts with a J. J, J, June, very good. So today is Monday, June, 7th, 2021. So for review today, you're going to be using these worksheets to make 10. You're gonna find a whole bunch of different ways to make the number 10. Okay, so to do that, you're gonna need a color and um, a pencil. And what you're going to do is fill in the extra dots and count how many to make 10. So for the first one, you're going to go ahead and color in all the ones that don't have the black dot. So see how these ones are all empty? We're going to fill them in with a color. So it looks like this. And then you're gonna count the color to figure out what number has to go in the space. One, two, three, four, five. So then we're going to put a five on the line, which means five plus five equals 10. Okay, let's do another one together. So I see a whole bunch of black dots on this one. So let's fill the rest up with purple. Just like that, okay? And then I see eight, which um, means there's eight black dots plus blank. So we need to count the purple dots and put the number right on this line. So how many purple dots are there? There are two, very good. So then on the line, you're going to put a two because eight plus two equals Okay, so you need to fill in the extra spaces and then count those dots to see if or to see what number it is you need to write down. Okay, what about this one? It's full of black dots. How many purple dots are there? Do we need to fill any spots up? We don't. So how many purple dots do you see? Zero, which means we're going to put a zero because 10 plus zero equals 10. Okay, so I want you to keep going with that. Put the purple dots in all the empty spaces and then count them to figure out what number goes in the equation to make 10. And the same thing is going to happen on this sheet, okay? It's the exact same thing. You're going to fill in the empty squares with your dots. You can use whatever color you want. And once all the squares are full, you can count the purple dots or whatever color you use. So one, two, three three, which means my answer is three. We're gonna put it on the line because seven plus three equals 10. Okay, so you're gonna do that for all the rest. Fill in all those empty spaces and then count them to see what number goes on the line. All right, and for our language review, we are going to be doing some reading to match it to the pictures and then also some rhyming, okay? So this one you guys did last week, I believe on Friday, you look at the picture, and you have to figure out which one of these words goes with the picture, okay? So this is a pin. So let's look at these letters and figure out which one is pin. All right, so I see P-I-G and I see P-I-N, okay? So pin starts with P. I hear P, I hear E, E, which is an I, and then I hear N, which is an N. So which one of these is the, gonna be the correct one? P-I-G or p in This one, yeah, because it says pin. Excellent. Okay, this is the number 10. So you need to look at these two words and figure out which one is the right one. So 10 starts with a t, t, t. So what word do you think is the right one? I see t, n, and I see d, n. Which one's the one that we need? This one, because it says 10, perfect. So I want you to keep going, okay? This one's a crab. This one's a bunny, so it's showing hop, 
So you're gonna use the word hop. This is a picture of cut, and this one is of jam. Okay, so I want you to look at those pictures and then look at all the letters and the words underneath and see which one is the one that we are looking for, okay? And now this one is a rhyming worksheet, which we haven't done um, one like this yet. So you have to practice your rhyming by looking at the words or looking at the pictures, okay? And you have to color the ones that rhyme. I have a circle that I'm going to be using, but I want you to color the ones that rhyme, okay? So it looks like this. I see a key, okay, a key. And then underneath I see a tree and a bird. So let's see, key, bird. Do they rhyme? No, they don't rhyme. What about key and tree? Do they rhyme? They do, they have the same sounds. Do you hear that? Key, tree. So I'm going to circle them, but I want you to color them, okay? And then leave this one blank because it does not rhyme. All right, let's do another one. This is a king. And then below the king, I see a duck and I see a ring. So which two rhyme? Do king and duck rhyme? No, they don't sound the same. What about king and ring? Do they sound the same? They do sound the same. So we can go ahead and color the king and the ring because they rhyme. Very good. All right, and this is a picture of socks. And underneath the socks is a fox and a crab. So which one of these rhymes with socks? Is it gonna be the fox or the crab? What do you think? Socks rhymes with fox. They both have the same sounds. You can hear it, they sound the same. All right, and then I want you to keep going. This is a hat. This is a cake. This is a car. This is a mouse. This is a coat and this is a dog. Okay, so you need to look at all those pictures and then figure out which one underneath rhymes with him, okay? And that's all I have for our review today. I will be back tomorrow for Tuesday and some more learning. I hope you have a wonderful Monday and I will see you tomorrow. Bye everybody.